Welcome to Mount St. Mary College's orientation for adult students. We'll begin this virtual tour at the main entrance to campus. Driving through, you'll pass the garden apartments on the left. The GAs, as we call it, is a residence hall for traditional students. If you take a right at the information booth, you'll drive up to the Dominican Center, but we'll focus on that building later in the tour. Welcome to Hudson Hall. Hudson Hall is a building that is important for you to become familiar with during your time here at the Mount. Here, you'll find our main security office. This is the place to get your student ID card, parking permit, or to get assistance while on campus. In addition to the security offices throughout campus, we have an emergency blue light system. Push the blue button if you are ever in an emergency situation. There is a direct camera feed from each station to the security office. Security officers patrol campus on foot and by car 24 hours a day and seven days a week. Rest assured, this is a very safe campus. Hudson Hall also has several classrooms. Once you enter the building, classrooms can be found on the right side of the building on both the upper and lower floors. You can also find the Hudson Hall Auditorium here. It is a smaller venue that hosts special events such as lectures, guest speakers, workshops, and things of that nature. Next to the security office, you will find the offices for the Division of Education. If you are looking to teach, this is where you will find the offices for professors who work with students like yourself. Hungry before class? Stop by Henry's Courtside Cafe for a bite to eat. Hours can be found on our website. This is Kaplan Recreation Center. As a student here, you have free access to all of our state-of-the-art facilities. In fact, if you have a gym membership elsewhere, you might as well suspend it because you can exercise your mind and your body right here. We have a cardio room, a weight room, an aerobics room, an indoor swimming pool, an indoor track, and all the other amenities that you would look for in a gym. You can also come and cheer on the Mount St. Mary College Knights at several different sporting events. Also in Kaplan are six classrooms. Access to these classrooms is through the side entrance of the building. Not sure where you should park? There is ample parking on campus, although you might not find a space right next to the front door of the building you'll be in, but you should be able to find something nearby. Please keep in mind that the spaces marked with white stripes are for students, and those marked with yellow stripes are for faculty and staff. The parking permit you'll get in the security office should always hang from your rear view mirror when you are on campus. The villa is one of two Victorian buildings on campus and was part of the original estate of the Van Duzer family. When the family was selling the property, they had two potential buyers, the Dominican sisters and another party who wanted to use the property to build a sanatorium. We're glad the sisters' bid was accepted. This is where you will find the graduate and adult degree completion programs office, the place where your academic journey begins. The admission staff and the academic advisors for adult students maintain our offices here. If you have any questions or concerns about your academic pursuits, please contact us at any time. We are more than happy to help. We may not know all the answers, but we probably know where to find them. You should consider the third floor of the villa home base as you go along. In addition, the villa houses the office of the president and the admissions office for traditional undergrads. On the ground floor is the James Finn Cotter Library, the showcase of this building. It's a charming space which is used to host potential students and their families, lecturers, and other small events. Whitaker Hall was originally the carriage house of the Van Duzer estate. You'll notice the large arched doorway on the ground floor. This was the entry point for the horse-drawn carriages used at the time. Inscribed over the main entrance are the Latin words Domus Angelorum, which means Home of the Angels. When the sisters first assumed ownership of this property, the small rooms on the second floor were used for music lessons, hence the angelic sounds of the music students. If you go inside, you can see these small rooms on the second floor, which were originally haylofts. Today, Whitaker Hall is home to the offices of the Social Science Division. Entering on the ground floor of Aquinas Hall will lead you to the campus bookstore on the right. Our main dining hall, called The View, is on the left. If you go inside, you'll see why we've named it The View. Just past the bookstore is a gourmet coffee shop called Jasmine's, where you can grab a specialty coffee and a treat to bring with you to class. On this level, you will also find the offices of the Math and IT Division and Computer Labs galore. Entering on the first floor of Aquinas, not to be confused with the ground floor, will bring you to the offices of the Registrar, Student Accounts, and Financial Aid. Located at the center of this floor is a gallery displaying works by Salvador Dali. These works were gifted to the college many years ago. 
On this level, you'll also find our 1100-seat Aquinas Theater, a much larger venue than Hudson Auditorium, but also used for special events, theater productions, and the like. The offices of the Arts and Letters Division are also found here. On the adjacent MST side of the house is where you will find the MST Atrium, an open area for casual meetings or quiet study. You'll also find science labs and our career center. Moving up to the second floor is where the offices of the nursing division are located. There are also nursing specific labs where the Sims family lives. These are simulated, lifelike patients who can exhibit a multitude of maladies, which provide excellent practice for our nursing students. The offices of the business division are also housed here. On the MST side, you can find more classroom and lab space, as well as the offices of the Division of Natural Science. The third floor of Aquinas features classroom space and the art studio. Finally, we present our newly renovated Dominican Center. Here you will find our state-of-the-art library facility. We expect that you'll be spending lots of time here. The first two floors contain library space, including our collections, quiet areas for study or group work, computer labs, practice presentation rooms, and the curriculum library for those of you who will be educators, as well as a food service area. Taking a turn from the academic highlights and going back to the heritage of Mount St. Mary College and the Good Sisters of St. Dominic who founded this institution, you will find the breathtaking chapel of the Most Holy Rosary at the center of this building. It is a truly lovely place where you can simply observe some of the fine details incorporated in the architecture or make time for peaceful reflection. This space in particular brings us full circle to the roots of our Dominican heritage. We hope you have enjoyed this virtual tour of Mount St. Mary College, and remember that our door is always open. See you around campus. campus.